How's it going everybody? Nick Daniels here. Um, just to start off the video here, I want to mention that you're probably going to be hearing some rain. It is raining out. Uh, you, you might be able to see it um, a little bit through the windows and stuff. Um, it's not pouring, so I, I thought this would be definitely a good time to do a video with the rain. Um, and I, I, obviously, I, obviously, if you're watching, that means the rain wasn't too loud uh, for the GoPro and we're go. Now, I want to talking about shopping bags, uh, plastic bags. I normally get these at the grocery store. Uh, you know, you'll be handed them uh, most of the time free of charge, right? Here you go, grocery bag, you put your food in it, right? You recycle it, good to go. Uh, the biggest problem I find with the grocery bags is literally just end up everywhere. And of course, like plastic takes like 200 years to decompose fully. So it's 200 years that something is going to, like an animal will try to eat it. Like whether that be some type of fish or a whale or, you know, a pig or something. Uh, and most of the times that just doesn't go very well. Um, it gets caught up in, in, in inside of them and usually end up dying. Now, I know that a few of the companies end up charging for them. Ooh, I was a superstore tried it years ago and it didn't go over very well. Or at least the one that I, I live nearby. They, um... Yeah, the customer feedback was pretty poor. Uh, they they didn't they didn't really receive that one very well. And I mean, and, and, and let's let's call it like it is. I'm not really surprised. Now, uh, Walmart has been doing it for I'd probably say like a year, a little over a year, uh, from what I can remember. Again, the one in my area, and uh, or maybe it's all of them. I'm not sure. And. They've been pretty good. They've said that they, they they don't get that many as many complaints as you think, and it really makes sense to use those recycled paper bags that they they sell you for like a dollar, and then you just remember to bring that in, right? And it's not even a big deal because you can hand them that bag. They'll literally put all your food into it, and then they're like, "Okay, see ya," and that's it. It's like they 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 still fill it up for you. Like it's not even a big deal. It's way more sturdy. It's a dollar. And yeah, you're helping out on the environment because now you're not friggin' throwing away all these plastic bags. You're just using the one paper bag. And again, most of them are from like recycled materials. So it's perfect. Like it's the perfect thing to buy. And then you can just like put them here right in the car. You can just have them right in the passenger seat whenever you need them. You just kind of, you just take a couple in with you and you're usually pretty good to go. Uh, I, I try to keep it like with the store though. Like if I'm going to like, say for example, uh, Walmart, I would use a Walmart bag. I really show up to Walmart with a Superstore bag or a Sobeys bag or, you know, independent or whatever. But uh, I've been told they don't, they don't give a fuck. No, they really don't care. So I don't know, folks. That's a quick rant video, though. Uh, let me know your folks, uh, your thoughts on the video. Do you support that idea? Do you think we should kind of move towards that in a sense as in like almost make it more mandatory like or or everybody will charge for the plastic bags, which I think would also make people want to get the paper bags. Why not? Uh, but I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers.